This is Steve Valenti. You are on Facebook Live to one lucky listener. And here's how this works this afternoon. Take a look at the car right here. Do you have a question or a comment about this bad car that could be yours? Steve Valenti, the man, is here. Interact with question and answer right now live on Facebook. Do you have a question? Do you have a comment? I can't answer any of them, but Steve Valenti can. We're going to have a good time the next several minutes. So join the conversation. Let us know what you have a question about or if you have a comment as we walk through what's going to happen this summer with this car. Join the conversation right now on Facebook and we'll address some of those issues. Steve, exciting. This is so cool. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty amped up about this car because it's just it's gonna be like nothing else we've ever done before. And style-wise, design-wise, technology performance is gonna be through the roof. The car is going to be true one of a kind. It's going to have 750 horsepower. Wow, uh, that's with, crazy. With, yeah, twin turbos, which is super cool to say the least. Uh, really, really good components. Comp cams inside the engine. Eagle rotating assembly, which is all your internal moving uh -huh. parts and stuff. That's good to over 1,300 horsepower. So if someone wanted to dial it up a little bit further, if they think they can handle over 1,000 horsepower <laughs> and 25 pounds of boost, then, uh, then let them have at it. Make sure your life insurance is paid out. Yeah, yep, definitely. You're looking right now, this is the Corvette Vendetta, what will become the Corvette Vendetta. Look at that. I mean, Steve, you look at the inside of this thing, and this is going to be a super sweet car, but it's kind of overwhelming when you look inside right now. Yeah, there's definitely a sea of wires and what resembles a, uh, a rat's nest, but uh, that's you got to get them down to a shell so we can kind of see what we're working with, take care of all the issues, and, and make everything function flawlessly. If you're just joining the conversation, sorry Steve, we are on Facebook Live right now talking about the new classic free ride. Be a part of the conversation. Do you have a comment or a question about this beautiful car that we're looking at here, which you could win later this summer? Join the conversation on Facebook Live. I'm John Merck here with Steve Valenti. What are we looking at right here, Steve? This is kind of the, the engine cavity. What we've done is the, the firewall has been completely voided of all of the unnecessary components. Uh, the more weight we shave, the faster we get to go. But we want wow. it to look good too. So everything has been removed. Areas that uh, holes and access uh, points that are unnecessary have been fiberglass shut and bodywork. Uh, everything is going to be painted the titanium color in here, the body color. Uh, all these suspension components that are all antiquated, those are going to be removed, and you're going to have modern aluminum. Um, what what's on the equivalent of a, of a brand new Corvette? Uh, a arm suspension. There's going to be rack and pinion steering. There's going to be monster brakes through Willwood, which are going to, uh -huh. not only will this car go fast, but it's going to stop six piston calipers in the front, 14 inch diameter drilled and slotted rotors. So not a problem stopping this monster. The factory wheels on this car are 15 inch wheels and our yeah. brake rotor is going to be 14 inches. So far surpassing what was ever on this vehicle and equivalent of modern day supercars. It's going to go fast, it's going to stop fast, and you have a chance to win this car as part of the New Mal Medical Classic Free Ride coming up this summer. Join the conversation on Facebook. We are here doing this live. I'm with Steve Valenti. Do you have a question or a comment about what's going to be this very sweet car? Join the conversation and we will uh, answer those questions or take your comments. What's the biggest challenge, Steve, transforming this into what will be a beautiful finished project? Uh, I think probably the biggest challenge for us is making sure that we... we hit all the marks and trying to fit that the dark block of 350 block with the twin turbos and all the components that go with it into this engine compartment so when we shut the hood it's the factory hood it just looks like it's a total sleeper it looks like a you know like a stock car until you lift up that hood or you hear it rumble and trying to you know engineer all that and get it to fit in that space is a little bit of a challenge and then really just working with the right uh, the right you know, right suppliers and stuff when it comes to the components because it all has to be yeah. really top end stuff that does what it's supposed to do when you want it to do it. There's no no room for, for error here. Jay, do we have a question or a comment? We do. Thanks to Steve who asks, what year is the body? What year is the body? The, the body, it, it's actually a 1982, so there's a lot of firsts for 82. It is the last year of this body style. It's the first Corvette to actually breach the $20,000 value or price tag uh, huh. on the you know, sticker price. Right. Yeah. Uh, the only year uh, this body style where they actually had the back window was like a hatchback that would lift up um, with gas shocks. And it is um, the, the number six on the top 10 worst Corvette list. Is it really? What, what does that mean? Why is that? 
primarily because the, the injection, the fuel supply system in this car was a crossfire injection, which was notorious for, for problems and issues and was not dependable. They scaled everything back. Emissions control was heavy back in this era. So they were un underwhelming 200 horsepower. They couldn't get out of their own way, but they had style and character that made them look like they were rocket ships just sitting still. <laughs> but, and the drive shafts are smaller, the clamps that hold the, you know, the U-joints in place. Everything is, is kind of microscopic in comparison to what it should have been. All that's being wiped out and completely changed. Anything wrong with it, uh, any issues that people had with these as far as performance, reliability, dependability is going to be completely gone. So there's nothing negative about it anymore. And we're going to go from what was 200 horsepower, like I said, at 15 pounds of boost, wow. it's going to be 750 horsepower. Four speed rock crusher transmission, so you can slam yeah, through the gears. That's and right. Just, you know, really sounds like you're, yeah. uh, you know, you're, you're in a race car. And it, and it will be that, but it will be a, a nice, gentle giant. It'll be a so car. transforming this into a beautiful piece of work, you've made a couple discoveries. Jake, can you go back to the. There is a dollar bill sitting in the car here, Steve. Tell us the story behind that. So as our team was taking this car apart and gutting the interior and getting it you know, down to the, to the skeleton so we could work on it, someone noticed that there was a dollar bill kind of wedged underneath the carpeting. <laughs> so when we're done with this project, we're gonna make sure that that dollar bill stays with the car and it's gonna nice. be hidden somewhere, not for one of the spectators to grab at it, but whoever <laughs> wins the car, it's gonna be in there kind of as our good luck charm at this point. So just kind of fun find. I'm John Merck here with Steve Valenti. We are live on Facebook. Be a part of the conversation. We're talking about the classic free ride, unveiling what will be the Corvette Vendetta. You will have a chance throughout the summer to win what will be an absolutely beautiful, stunning, powerful car. Do you have a question or a comment for Steve Valenti about the car, about what he does for a living, about restoring vehicles? Be a part of the conversation. Shoot us your question or comment now on Facebook, and we will try to answer that for you. How long a process is it? to take what we're seeing here and transforming it into the Corvette Vendetta. Now this whole build is probably gonna take about 500 man hours to, to accomplish our goals. Um, and that's not counting any of the, the after hours process and design and, and mm -hmm. kind of creating this and sculpting this whole build. And putting so it just the labor? Just, just the actual physical labor that you're hands on with the vehicle, applying, you know, installing components and getting things to fit and doing the paint process and then the upholstery, the stitching, everything. Yeah, it'll be about 500, 500 hours in that, in that job. There's such loyalty when it comes to Corvette owners. What is it that makes the Corvette such a special car to people who love Corvettes? Well, it's, uh, it's America's sports car. You know, I mean, that, that uh, you, get, you get two people that fit in there. You can't throw any kids in the back seat. You, kinda, <laughs> you can, just that raw horsepower, your connection with the, with the road and everything else. And, and just a good escape, you know, it's, uh, it's cheap therapy. You're getting a look at the car here, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. It's the New Mail Medical Classic Free Ride, WTMJ and Valenti Classics teaming together with New Mail Medical. We're on Facebook, you have a question or a comment, share it with us. I'm John Merck here, Steve Valenti is here. It's gonna be sweet on the inside as well, Steve. Lead us through maybe what it's gonna look like and what it's gonna feel like. Yeah, we're gonna we're kind of playing with uh, some of the original designs. So this is the the door panel, and there's a, a stripe pattern in the door panel that would end about here where the armrest would be. We don't need an armrest because you're not gonna be relaxing in this car. You're gonna be hanging onto the <laughs> wheel and you're gonna be pounding gears. So we're gonna put a, door, a small door pull there, where the the design and the and the stripes would come down. We were gonna continue those all the way through the door panel, and those are actually gonna be this carbon fiber um, simulated material. Uh, it will be all the striping and then this is all top grain uh, leather that we're gonna get multiple hides of leather to custom make the, the seats and the door panels and everything like that the center console the shift boot and then we're gonna get into some some nice detail with contrast stitching you know, as you look around here all those areas just will represent the contrast stitching and we're gonna select kind of a titanium uh, contrast stitch which you can kind of see what it'll it will look like just in different colors the seat is going to be very similar to the design and layout of the original one, except all the bolster, bolsters on the seat are going to be built up so that you hug, it hugs the driver and the passenger to keep them within their seat. A lot of safety things are going into this build, the brakes, the suspension, the crossbars underneath the frame for, to eliminate any twist, the sway bars to eliminate any body roll, but then also a five-point harness for the driver and passenger to keep them secure in their seat. 
we're putting a roll bar, which is going to be very nicely, you know, hidden in there, but it'll protect the, you know, the, the, you know, the cockpit, basically, all the passengers. If you're just joining us, we're on Facebook Live. A couple of folks have asked what year the uh, car is. It's a 1982 body. If you have a question on Facebook, be a part of the conversation. Go ahead and ask that question. We will answer it. John Rick, here's Steve Valenti with you here. The cockpit, almost some of it looks like a spaceship or a state-of-the-art jetliner. Yeah, no, we've done a lot of stuff there. If you start to look at some of the modern, you know, cars, it's going to be a push-button start. Uh, there's going to be, you know, complete ride control, double, bus, double adjustable coil over shocks on all four corners where you can adjust your compression and your rebound and the rates and all that stuff happens to make sure you're dialed in for track or to make sure you're dialed in for grocery getting. Uh, we're going to have a really <laughs> cool touchscreen display. Of course, we're going to be tuned into 620 WTMJ all yeah, the time. Yeah, that's right. But you'll have full control over your audio, Bluetooth connectivity. It'll connect to your smartphone, iPhones, uh, satellite, uh, Sirius connection, XM. All that stuff is going to be there. The instrumentation on the, on the uh, for the driver primarily is all going to be digital touchscreen as well. All of your information is going to be there. Your your tachometer your speedometer, your te water temperature, your oil pressure, all the things that you really need to monitor when you're operating a machine like this. Uh, that's all there and some fun switches that we're going to integrate into the build into the custom console that will also be leather wrapped. These are all trigger switches, safety switches. So you flip up a, a cover like on a on a fighter jet mm -hmm. and then you flip your trigger wow, if you that's want cool. to start it for the, for the fuel, you know, to gain power, to get the, the fans going, to get the fuel pump pumping to turn the heat on. That's so cool. So it's kind of neat stuff and it's something you don't really see there. Okay, day. so I know you can see the potential here. This is going to be fantastic. One of our listeners is going to win this beautiful car. But when you look inside, I am overwhelmed. What do you think when you look in here and you see this bird's nest and do you see potential or do you see, oh my goodness, what I, are we doing? I, already, I see improvement, you know. It, <laughs> it, it's scary, but I, you know, we see improvement there for sure because we can, again, void this thing of anything that's unnecessary. And then just make it. These are very complex and overly complex. The, going back to that crossfire system, crossfire fuel injection system that they had, there was 80 processes every second that was going on within that. Way too Whoa. many things happening. Wow. Unnecessary. Like, eliminate all that mess and then just make it uh, make it function. You hit a switch, it does what it should do in an instant. Um, everything that we're doing in here is uh, is going to be really high tech electrical. We're having a gold lithium 16 volt battery system in this car with a Zon electric uh, controller yeah. to reduce that electrical capacity down so you're not blowing up alternators or blowing up the electrical components and gauges and things like that. But it's just a really, really cool technology um, and, and we're probably going to be some of the first people integrating it into a passenger vehicle. All right, we got a question or a comment? Yeah, uh, Barry joined us in the middle of the pro uh, broadcast and he wants you to kind of summarize the start to finish. How long will it take to do uh, and to deliver it? Uh, we've got a 60-day window to, to do this build, 500 man hours to, to accomplish it, it's actually hands-on work with the vehicle. We wish we had, uh, you know, 160 <laughs> days or 260 days, but that's just not the way it works around here. So we have But a, you'll get it done in 60 days. You will transform this into a one-of-a-kind incredible vehicle. Yeah, we're, we're going to get it done in, in a little bit less than 60 days because the week before the the, the reveal right, and, the, and the on on uh, the morning Glenn TV show, we're going to have this thing out up up at Road America. Wow! Have some track time, so we have real incentive <laughs> to get this thing done even before the big reveal. So we're we're super excited about that and and uh, have this thing out on the track. We're going to get some killer footage of it, and everybody's going to see what it's what it's made of and how it sounds. So we're going to keep you updated as we go through the transformation of this car. Man, I'm so jazzed about this. We will keep you updated on our Facebook page. And you can keep track at WTMJ.com as well. This video will be there. All sorts of information, including how you can enter to win this beautiful car. It's going to be a great summer. I'm John Merck here. He's Steve Valenti. Steve, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Definitely check, tune in, and watch because there's probably 50 different things that are wicked cool that's going into this build that I didn't even mention. So definitely pay attention and stay tuned.